September 20th, look at this. Still getting tons of tomatoes. Still tomatoes coming on. We're just now pulling some pepper plants. I mean, we got more tomatoes than we can even think to do with. And we only have 18 tomatoes here. We had 50 last year. Oh my goodness, we're getting way over 50 pounds of, of tomatoes per plant. Way over that this year. So there you go, and we've got some more coming on. Uh, I think if you guys would try this uh, process, you know, growing them in, starting them inside early, letting them get tall and leggy, and then planting them 30 inches, uh, 28, 30 inches, 36 inches deep, and uh, had a way for them to, so they don't break, break off when they get that big. Uh, I think you'd have a lot of success with just a few plants. You could pick a couple of your favorite tomatoes. Um, that's the hillbilly celebrities. They come off in these little... And this is a pretty prolific tomato. Cherokees. And uh, they grow... This one just said Fat Mom. It's the first year we ever grew these. We found it at a, a greenhouse, and so I grew it like my regular tomatoes, but I think it was aroma. And see, it's growing, it's probably close to 10 foot. And uh, it grows these bell-shaped aroma tomatoes, but now look, coming on late, just regular, right off the same thing so pretty crazy tomato I don't know uh, we will grow it again next year probably this is the Cherokee that broke off early it's finally starting it actually is better because the ones that are growing coming on now they're just falling over because they're so heavy they're higher than the cages this one's just starting inside the cage so it's doing a little better but pull our peppers and hang them uh, we do pick some early but we like to just pull the whole plant let them hang in for a day or so and if we're going to use them we pick them off a day or so after we pull them uh, or we just let them dry out like that and then we can use them for all kinds of stuff like powders and uh, seasonings and chili bases and things like that you can add it to vinegar and make hot sauces and there's a lot of stuff you can do with dried peppers um, the loofah still going crazy and I'll show you some of them but anybody need any cherry tomatoes man we got tons of cherry tomatoes and this was a pretty nice setup we still got some uh, sweet potatoes to get later Peppers are all still, still doing good, and eventually when it starts to get to a point of uh, right before frost, we'll come out and pull all these if there's any left, and uh, get those going in the freezer or something. We did pull all the tomatillos. We're going to make uh, green verde salsa, and uh, look at these loofahs. They're just crazy. Clean up the pole. They're just, I don't. Look at these things. Humongous. All over in there. You can see it. Let's see if you can see it or not. Yeah, right down there. They're just all over. But definitely had too many cherry tomatoes this year. These are my favorite.
but I'll still grow that many next year because I like all the different ones. Cucumbers are done. And the peanuts are still thriving. Pulled the ground cherries. These are green zebra tomatoes, and we didn't even plant these this year, uh, the chickens did. So these came out of those chicken tomatoes, but they'll work really good for our salsa verde. Okay, well this is Helmut. Our green onions, those of you that follow us will know who Helmut is. That's our uh, metal doppelganger to Wilson over at Homestead Aquarius. And uh, well, this is half of Helmut. The other half, we trimmed his hair and replanted him. And uh, these are our walking onions, and they smell so good, all dehydrated. They smell like they're already sour cream and onion, but you can add these to so many different recipes and different things. It's nice to have a lot of dehydrated uh, green onions out. And this is a really good um, tasting and smelling uh, walking onion to chop up into green onions our minced up uh, cilantro and we're drying it out now and this will go into another jar for us to use